Do you know what sugar does to your body? It's a simple question with a complex answer. In the next 10 minutes, we're going to explore this sweet yet potentially harmful substance that's so prevalent in our diets. Sugar, while often associated with sweet treats and happy times, can have some not-so-sweet effects on our health. Understanding the effects of sugar on our bodies is crucial. It's more than just cavities and weight gain, it's about knowing how the foods we consume can impact our overall health and well-being. It's about recognizing the hidden sugars in our everyday meals, understanding the immediate and long-term effects, and learning how to make healthier choices. So, whether you're a health enthusiast, a curious mind, or just someone who enjoys a good piece of trivia, this exploration is for you. So, buckle up and ready your taste buds. Stay tuned as we unravel the sweet but potentially harmful impacts of sugar on our bodies. Sugar isn't just the white stuff you stir into your coffee. It's a fascinating yet deceptive element of our diet, existing in various forms and hiding in places you'd least expect. Let's unravel the sweet mystery of sugar. First off, let's talk about sucrose, a type of sugar most familiar to us. This is the regular table sugar, the stuff of sugar cubes and sweeteners. It's derived from sugarcane or sugar beet and is often the villain in our health narratives. Sucrose is a disaccharide, meaning it's made up of two simpler sugars, glucose and fructose, which leads us to our next types of sugar. Glucose, the energy currency of life, is the primary source of fuel for our bodies. It's found naturally in fruits and vegetables, and is also produced by our bodies from the carbohydrates we consume. Despite its essential role, an excess of glucose can lead to health issues, such as obesity and type 2 diabetes. On the other hand, we have fructose, a sugar found naturally in many fruits and honey. While it shares a similar chemical composition with glucose, fructose is metabolized differently in our bodies. It's processed largely in the liver, and too much of it can burden this vital organ, leading to an array of health issues including fatty liver disease. But don't be fooled into thinking that you're safe if you avoid the sugar bowl. These sugars are not just confined to the obvious sweet stuff. They're found in a vast array of foods, from your morning cereal to the ketchup you squirt on your fries. Even in foods that don't taste sweet, like bread and pasta sauces, sugars like glucose and fructose can be lurking, often disguised under different names on the ingredients list. So it's clear that sugar comes in many forms, and it's not always as obvious as the granules in your sugar bowl. It's a sweet, sweet world out there, but as we'll discover, the impacts of sugar on our bodies may not be as sweet as the taste it leaves on our tongues. Now that we know what sugar is, let's delve into how it affects us. Imagine this. You've just bitten into a chocolate bar. It's sweet, it's delicious, and it's providing your brain with an influx of feel-good chemicals. This is because when sugar enters our bodies it's quickly broken down into glucose. This glucose then spikes our blood sugar levels, giving us that familiar quick energy boost. But as the saying goes, what goes up must come down. And with sugar, it's no different. As our bodies work to bring our blood sugar levels back to normal, we experience an energy crash. This crash often leaves us feeling tired, hungry, and reaching for another sugar-laden snack. It's a vicious cycle, one that can lead to overeating and over time weight gain, but that's not all. Consuming high amounts of sugar over a long period can lead to more serious health issues. The excess glucose in our bloodstream can damage our blood vessels and organs increasing our risk of chronic diseases such as type 2 diabetes and heart disease. And let's not forget about our teeth. Sugar is the favorite food of the bacteria that live in our mouths. When these bacteria feast on the sugars we eat, they produce acids that can erode tooth enamel, leading to cavities and other dental problems. But perhaps one of the most concerning aspects of sugar's impact on our bodies is its addictive nature. Studies have shown that sugar can stimulate the same pleasure centers in the brain as certain drugs, leading to cravings and withdrawal symptoms. This can make reducing our sugar intake a real challenge. So while that chocolate bar might taste heavenly, the impact of its sugar content on our bodies is anything but. It's important to remember that sugar, like anything else, should be consumed in moderation. Too much of a good thing can indeed be harmful. Sugar might give us a quick energy boost but it seems the long-term effects are a bitter pill to swallow. Think you're not a big sugar consumer? You might want to think again. Sugar is not just in your favorite sweets and treats, and it's also hiding in places you'd least expect. Processed foods are notorious for this subterfuge. They may not taste sweet, but they often contain more sugar than you'd imagine. For instance, take that innocent-looking bottle of ketchup in your fridge. You're probably thinking, ketchup? Really? But yes, really. A single tablespoon of ketchup can contain around one teaspoon of sugar. That's about the same amount of sugar in a chocolate chip cookie. 
And let's not forget about the staples like bread. Whole wheat, multigrain, it doesn't matter. Many brands sneak in sugar to give their loaves a subtle sweetness and to help brown the crust. Salad dressings, especially the low-fat or fat-free versions, are another culprit. Manufacturers often add sugar to make up for the flavor lost when fat is removed. So that healthy salad could be hiding a sugary secret in its dressing. Canned fruits are another usual suspect. While fruit is naturally sweet, canned versions are often packed in syrup, which is essentially liquid sugar. And then, there's the big one. Beverages. Sodas, energy drinks, fruit juices, even that latte you enjoy on your way to work, can be loaded with sugar. A single can of soda can contain up to 10 teaspoons of sugar. That's more than the daily recommended limit for both men and women. It's a similar story with breakfast cereals. While they're marketed as a healthy start to the day, many are laden with sugar. Even those that seem healthy like granola or bran flakes can be sugar traps. The list goes on and on. From sauces and marinades to yogurt and granola bars, sugar is hiding in plain sight. So, next time you reach for a seemingly innocent food item, remember to check the label. Because as we've seen, sugar has a knack for turning up in the most unexpected places. It seems that sugar has a sneaky way of creeping into our diets even when we least expect it. Feeling a bit sour about all this sugar talk? Don't worry, we've got some tips to help you cut down. First off, let's talk about food labels. These little panels of information are a treasure trove when it comes to identifying sugar. You see, sugar wears many masks. It may be listed as corn syrup, dextrose, fructose, or even the seemingly innocuous fruit juice concentrate. So next time you're grocery shopping, take a moment to read the label. If sugar, in any of its disguises, is one of the first ingredients, you may want to reconsider that purchase. Next, let's discuss the power of whole foods. Picture an apple and a bottle of apple juice side by side. The apple, a whole food, contains fiber, vitamins, and yes, a bit of sugar. But that fiber slows the absorption of sugar, preventing those dreaded blood sugar spikes. The apple juice, on the other hand, is stripped of fiber and packed with added sugar. So whenever possible, choose whole foods. They're nature's way of providing balance. Now what about drinks? Sugary beverages are one of the biggest culprits when it comes to excessive sugar intake. But fear not, because there's a simple solution, water. Water is calorie-free, sugar-free, and the best hydrator out there. If plain water doesn't do it for you, try adding a splash of lemon, a handful of berries, or even a few cucumber slices for a refreshing twist. And if you're a fan of fizzy drinks, consider swapping your regular soda for sparkling water. Many brands offer fruit-infused versions that give you the fizz without the sugar. Lastly, remember that reducing sugar intake is not about deprivation. It's about making smarter choices. You can still enjoy your favorite treats just in moderation. With these tips, you'll be well on your way to a lower sugar lifestyle. So, we've taken a sweet but revealing journey into the world of sugar. We've uncovered the sugary truth, learning about the different forms sugar takes like the familiar sucrose, the fruit-loving fructose, and the body's best friend glucose. We've seen how these sweet devils can wreak havoc on our bodies, causing everything from immediate energy crashes to long-term health issues like weight gain, diabetes, and heart disease. We've also played detective, discovering how sugar can sneak into our diets, masquerading in processed foods and drinks that don't even taste sweet. But we're not left defenseless. We've armed ourselves with practical tips to ward off these sugar demons, like reading food labels, opting for whole foods and swapping sugary drinks for healthier alternatives. Remember, sugar isn't all bad, but like everything else, moderation is key. Here's to making healthier and sweeter choices.